Do you know where your teens go when they head out late at night? They could be headed for a hip new kind of party that's totally wild and totally out of control. <laughs> this bash takes place in the middle of nowhere, where anything goes and there are no rules. And our undercover cameras are there to capture it all for the very first time. <laughs> the ultimate party. Coming right up. But first, our top story, a story every parent in America needs to know about. Deadly teenage orgies of sex and booze called desert raves. Parties miles out in the middle of nowhere. And if there's trouble, there's no way for police or parents to help. Diane Diamond reports on the danger in the desert. Dawn in California's Mojave Desert. Nothing stirs for at least 100 miles. It is desolate and absolutely quiet. Well, most of the time. The sun is out, so you have to listen to it with the sun now. <laughs> On any given weekend, the desert explodes as thousands of young people from all over the country invade the wilderness. This is the ultimate zoo for serious party animals. It lasts all night and all day, and they call it the Desert Rave. Hard copy crashed the rave parties with a home video camera and caught all the madness on tape. It's something that everybody should try and check out because I think it's the future. It's a place to be. I don't know, it's spiritual. What do you do at a rave? Well, besides wall-to-wall -wall music and dancing, they do lots and lots of alcohol and drugs. Life, it's a beautiful thing, especially when you're loaded, especially when you're loaded. Nice. <laughs> Suck it out of a balloon. Yeah. And everything goes wang, wang, wang. The drug of choice seems to be the anesthetic nitrous oxide. Taken improperly, it can cause seizures, permanent brain damage, and even death. But the biggest danger at a rave is also its biggest attraction. It's isolated, far, far away from parents and police. But also it's far away from medical attention for the inevitable casualties of too much booze, too many drugs, and too little sleep. I was a little f***ed up, guys. Hey, don't go too far. Well, I was drinking a little bit. <laughs> dude, what happened? Beer's all right, though, man. It, it wasn't the beer, dude. It was, it was the dirt, bro. There's a bit, bunch of drama why she passed out right there, but she passed out because she couldn't walk no more. This guy here got seven stitches. Yeah, pass it on. And Concrete. lost two f***ing teeth, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude passing out on nitrous, oh. dude. At another desert rave earlier this year, a teenager took an hallucinogenic drug and wandered away from the party. They found his body two days later. A desert rave doesn't really get going until midnight, and just getting there can be a challenge. You find the secret location on a map handed out at a prearranged street corner in one of a dozen cities. Then you take a super highway to a two-lane blacktop, then follow a country road to an unpaved desert trail. And there, in the middle of nowhere, are people from everywhere. Where are you from? From Oklahoma. I'm from Chicago. Why are you in the middle of the desert, dude? I told you, because I got lost and I found this place here. Temperatures at night can plunge to near freezing. Some dress for the occasion, others generate their own heat. Incessant music, drug-addled crowds, no plumbing. Does all this seem like deja vu? Well, welcome to Woodstock 1996. Why can't people just park wherever they want? Um, because it's natural wildlife and we have to make sure that we preserve Mother Earth. Why are you here, dude? It's my birthday! Woo! I'm 18! <laughs> and a desert rave is still thundering when dawn struggles over the desert horizon like a bloodshot eye. Ravers clamor up precarious peaks to celebrate the rising sun. When nature's light show is over, it's right back to the dancing, the drugs, and the dangerous fallout. But don't ask anyone to explain it. Did you ever surf before? Do you know that saying, expression, only the surfer knows the feeling? Uh-huh. That's what it is, only the surfer knows the feeling, so I can't really explain it. You have to be here, but what was the question, first of all? 
by the time the moon rises again, the last party animals will be staggering away. They and the desert have a little time to heal before it starts all over again. <laughs> The rave parties have moved from the city to the desert to escape the violence of urban raves, which have been plagued by gang shootings and deadly fires. Police say their biggest obstacle in shutting them down is trying to find them.